Hello! Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite art supplies. Now, this video isn't going to be restricted to watercolors or acrylics or anything specific like that. It's going to be the supplies that I have found super helpful across all the forms of art that I've explored. So, let's get started! So some of these products are a bit basic, but the important thing to notice here is that they've saved me a lot of time ever since I started using them or I've changed my basic art supplies into these ones. So this first one here is a bit random, but I think that paper clips have just helped me so much whenever I'm painting with watercolors or gouache. They just hold things in place really, really well. This next item is just uh, the brand that I'm using for my gouache paints, which is Windsor Newton. And I just use the normal designer's gouache. You'll find that they have um, a few kinds, but these are the ones that I found really nice. Uh, they're easy to work with and the colors turn out really well on paper. This sketchbook is uh, one that I got from London. I'm currently in Jeddah, so I have no access to this at the moment but I'm planning on getting my next ones online because I just love that the paper can handle markers, it can handle painting, and it just doesn't wrinkle or curl too much. This next one here is a little bit interesting because this paint is actually uh, in the middle between a gouache set of paints and watercolors. You need water to activate it, but the way that it comes out on the page can be really pigmented or very watery and it's up to you and how you use it. As you can see, I've gotten two different versions. One that was really old and worn out. I loved this palette so much and that's why I had to find another one from a different brand that was very similar because I really couldn't get my hands on this one. I had one that was by Stadler and another one by Pelican and they're both very similar, it's just that I managed to find one years ago and then I couldn't find it anymore so I had to get another one by a different brand but you can see that the colors are pretty much very similar it's nice that you can actually remove the colors from their actual places but I really love those two and they're great for travel as well even though they're not travel sized but I find that they just give me access to so many different ways of sketching, which I love. This is obvious, it's a sharpener, but I got this from Muji and it just leaves my pencils super sharp. It's kind of fun to sharpen in this way as well, so it's like an extra, like an added activity to the whole process. So the brush that I thought was really worth mentioning is this angled brush that is in a very small size. I think that this helps me draw all the details in when I'm doing my portraits, especially for things like hair or really awkward angles that you can't get with a round brush. These two pencils are my favorite pencils. They're from uh, Black Wing, if you're familiar with them, and they're very comfortable to hold. They come in a lot of cool colors, and the way that the pencil itself turns out on the paper is very obvious and strong, which I really love. And of course, the erasers on the top are very unique. Um, and yeah, they're my favorite. And then you can see here that this next one is just a white pencil and it's very helpful to to have this and it's kind of underrated i think it adds a lot of highlights that are very important in portraits and of course this version of it is basically a pen and it just does the same exact thing but with a much bolder pigment on the paper that really shows up so this one is a little bit weird, it's an eraser, but I think it just changed my life having this thin eraser that goes in and out. I find it much cleaner, much easier to work with, especially to get the areas that are hard to erase because they're so tiny. If you draw or paint a lot, you might find that you've already got these and they're just fine liners, but my favorite is these ones by Uniball and they're called Unipin. As you can see, I've got different thicknesses, um, but I just found that these were the most um, comfortable for me to work with. So ever since I discovered that, I have just been using them. 
This one here is a pen that actually drove me crazy because I saw someone in my class writing with it and I was so curious. Um, I just had to try it. It's actually very comfortable. It's more like a marker, but also a pen. It's hard to explain, but I love it. It's so cool. So the very last one is this paint marker. I just feel like I love paint markers in gold, silver, and or rose gold. Um, they just add a lot of shine to things when I'm drawing, especially if I'm drawing something like earrings or jewelry. They're just perfect for details like that and I love having them around. So guys, there you have it. These were my favorite art supplies. I genuinely do use them all the time and it's not just recently. I think I've been using a lot of these supplies for quite a while now. I hope that you enjoyed this video, so let me know what you thought about the supplies that I've shared and I would love to hear about your personal favorites as well. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!